Hey guys, welcome back for today's video. I'm going to be comparing two different lug bags. So I have the carousel versus the carousel XL. So if you want to see some of the similarities, differences, how they were on the body, then just keep watching. So for this video, what I wanted to do is just show you the similarities and differences of the two bags. And then also I will show you how they were on the body. And then I have this one completely packed up and I just like to kind of start with larger bags and try to see how much of the larger bag will fit in the smaller bag. So what I'm gonna do is just show you what is in this bag and we're gonna to try to transfer it into the smaller bag to see how much will fit and what will not be able to fit. So this is the carousel in the Shibori blue print and this is the carousel XL in the shimmer white. So one of the differences is the carousel can be carried three different ways. So you can carry it as a shoulder bag, a crossbody option and as a belt bag. So it does have the little loops in the back where you can use it as a belt bag as well. The Carousel XL can only be carried two ways, as a shoulder bag and as a crossbody bag. So that is one of the differences in the two. As you can see, the front looks very, very similar. So it has this really nice gunmetal hardware right here in the middle. And then it has this really pretty quilting detail. Both of them have the lug logo in the middle at the bottom that's the same color as the bag. So look at the differences in size. You can see that the Carousel XL is quite a bit taller than the Carousel. And I just wanted to put it in front of it and you can see they are about the same width and then from a side view these are both completely packed up and you can see the difference in these and then I'll also show you the difference on the bottom. So you always have a lot more room in the Carousel XL than you do the Carousel but if you tried to use the Carousel XL as a belt bag it would be too large so that's why this one is so great and really nice and compact because you can use this one as a belt bag as well so I really like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what all the compartments are in the XL and how it compares to the carousel and then just take everything that's out of this and try to put it in the carousel. So let's just start off with the front. And as I mentioned, it's got this really pretty quilting detail on both the carousel and the carousel XL. Both of them have a front zip around pocket. The zippers are tunnel on both of them, but the pulls are the gun metal. So they both have this front zip around. So it kind of sits around to the side. So it does have a good opening for that. And that's in both of the bags. Now, one of the differences in these bags is the carousel actually has a double zipper for that front zipper. So I really like that because if you just want to get something really easy in this area right here, then you can just unzip the top part, reach in there, and you don't have to worry about anything spilling out. So I do love that this is a double zip on the carousel but the Carousel XL is just a single zip zipper in the front. So the front area in both of these bags is a built-in wallet. So in the Carousel, you have a slip pocket right here for a large bill and you have your credit card slots. It looks like you have a total of six credit card slots in here. And then you have the cargo pocket that is right here that is felt lined. In the Carousel XL, you have a difference. It has a clear view area right here and then it only has two credit card slots underneath it so you have no area for the bills so in this one you have the six credit card slots the bill slots and the cargo pocket that's felt lined in the carousel xl you have the clear view plastic area two credit card slots and then the cargo area that's felt lined in the front so there is a little bit of a difference this has a better built-in wallet probably because you can't get those larger wallets in here with some other things that you might want to fit. So the wallet area is larger in the carousel than the carousel XL because I actually do have a full size wallet in here that I will show you when we get to the main compartment. That's probably not gonna be able to fit in the carousel. So what I have in this front area of the carousel XL is I have a pen, which I can easily just put in this front area over here for the carousel. I have my keys, which I can also put over here as well. And yes, there is a key bungee in these, but I have something else that I use for my key bungee for. And then that's all that I laid down here. I did not utilize the built-in wallet on the Carousel XL, but I believe that we will probably have to do that for the Carousel because I don't think that the wallet that I have in here will fit with everything else that I have. So we will see when we get to that. And then in the cargo felt line pocket, I just have a pair of sunglasses and I will just transfer those over to the cargo felt lined uh, pocket in the front of the carousel. So everything that was in the front of the carousel XL did fit in the carousel. 
and then I'm just gonna zip that back up. And then you have another compartment behind that area in the Carousel XL. And so that's just a straight zip. It doesn't go down on the sides or anything. It just zips horizontally on that. And what I have in here is just some Clorox swaps because I don't go anywhere without those just because I'm a germaphobe. So the carousel does not have that extra zipper area. So I will just try to transfer that into the front area and see if that will be able to fit in there. If not, we will have to put it in the main compartment. So I am able to zip that up, but if I had to utilize the wallet, I don't know if that would fit. So we're gonna see if all that's gonna fit still at the end. So. That's all that I had in this horizontal area right here because I had the middle pretty full and I can feel down in here and I can feel some of the things that I have in the middle area. So your middle, the middle compartment, the main compartment does kind of go into this front zipper area. So I did just want to mention that because it's also, I'm feeling the phone that I have in the phone pocket as well. So that's all that's in this little area. So it's a really nice horizontally zipped area. So this is an extra compartment that the XL has that the original does not have. And then right behind that is your magnetic closed felt lined cell phone area. And the carousel has the same thing. So it is felt lined as well. So I'm just gonna transfer the phone from this area and I'm gonna put it in the carousel. And I can already see that this is a tight fit from what I have in the front area. So that does still close the magnetic Close, those don't close. So that is the front of both bags. And then let's just go ahead and go to the back of the bag. So an obvious difference in the back is that the carousel has the little loops for you to put the straps. You can use it as a belt bag. The XL does not have that, but both of them have that horizontal zipper area in the back. So they do both have that really nice area that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And what I have in this one is just a coin purse that I will just transfer over to this side. And I'm looking just to make sure that they don't have pin pockets. So no, there are no pin holders or anything back there. So that's all I had back here. And I was able to transfer that to the back area of the carousel, no problem. All right, so that's the outer area of it. And I wanna go ahead and just go into the main compartment area. They're very similar in the main compartment as well. So this one is fully packed and this one is empty on the inside. So you have the clear view pocket in the front, that zipper clear view pocket. And then in the back, you have the two cargo pockets. It also has a key bungee in, on the inside as well. And then you can just see the lining of this shibori blue. It had the little flower details on the inside of this with a really nice light blue lining. So that's the inside of the carousel. And the inside of the carousel XL is exactly the same. It has the clear view pocket, and then it also has the two cargo pockets and the key bungee. And I'll show you how this looks completely empty after I convert everything back over here to this. So what I have in here is, I'll just start with the cargo pockets in the back. I do have a tissue holder and I will just convert that back over here to the cargo area over here. And that empties one of them. And then I have some contact solution, some hand sanitizer, and some extra contacts, and some ibuprofen. And that was able to transfer from one cargo pocket. I had all of that in one cargo pocket up here, and it transferred over here. But as you can see, it is jutting out just a little bit, so there's not much room on the inside to put very much more. So we will see what else we can convert over. And so then I'm just gonna go to the clear view pocket in the front of this one. I've emptied out the cargo pockets here. So it was similar to the carousel because it had the two cargo pockets in the back, same as the carousel. And they both had that clear view pocket. Of course, the carousel clear view pocket is a little bit smaller, not as deep as the Carousel XL one is, but I'm gonna transport everything over if I can. And what I have in that area is I have a setting spray and that is a top fit. So the setting spray was standing up in the Carousel XL and it will not stand up in the clear view pocket of the Carousel. So I'm just gonna to try to put that in the main compartment area. And then I have some lotion that is not gonna fit in the clear view area either. So I'm gonna to have to stand it up on the main compartment too. And then I have a chapstick, a lip gloss and a lipstick and they will all convert over to the clear view pocket. So as you can see, this is how this is packed now. All the stuff that's in here in the middle and this clear view pocket, all of that was able to fit just in the clear view pocket of the XL. So that is one difference, and so I still have the stuff that I have in that main area that's not in any kind of pockets in here that I just kind of have thrown in there. And I do not say that is going to fit in here because you can see that this is 
already getting a little bit bulky. So what I have is I have my earbuds that I always attach to the key bungee. I love to do that to the key bungee. That way I can always find them. They're not just loose in the bottom of the bag. So I will just convert that back over to the key bungee over here. And that again is gonna go in that main area and take up the space in the main area at the bottom. Okay, so we have that. I will just have to slide those down in there. Okay. So I also have a mirror. The mirror will slide over here easily. So what I have left in the Carousel XL is the Splits XL wallet. So it fits really nicely in that main compartment, but this is not gonna fit. There's no way that this is gonna fit because you can see how full the main compartment area is right now in the Carousel. So that's why I said you'll probably have to utilize this main wallet if you have a larger wallet. I believe a Metro would fit in here. I don't think the smaller splits would fit in here because it is a little bit thicker and I, it, there's just not the room in here. So your full size wallet, the Splits XL will fit in the XL, but it will not fit in the care. So you'll have to use a little small, like just the card wallets or anything like that if you want to sit it in here, or you can utilize the built-in wallet that is in the front. So since I'm going to have to utilize the built-in wallet, I'm taking my Clorox wipes out and I'm going to put them in the main area. So, I will zip this up, make sure it zips really well. And as you can see, this is the side view of the carousel, all packed up with everything out of the carousel XL, except for the large size wallet. So I would have to utilize this wallet. And that's why it's so nice that you have the six credit card slots and that bill slot. So you can put your credit cards that you need in there. So that will work if you want to utilize the front wallet. So everything that was in the Carousel XL, as you can see, it's completely empty. And you can see now the lining of this shimmer wine has that little light gray with that arrow detail. So you have your two cargo pockets in the back of this and your clear view pocket in the front with the key bungee. So they are identical inside. The back zipper is identical. The front zipper, there is a difference. This, the carousel has the double zip and the XL does not have a double zip, just a single zip. The carousel is missing this very front horizontal zipper and they both have the magnetic close cell phone area. So everything was able to fit except for the large wallet, but you can utilize that very front wallet in this one. So it does have a large capacity because I was able to fit all of the things from the inside of this, which I did have this packed really full, I was able to pack all of this in the carousel, but this is kind of heavy to use as a belt bag. So I would probably not pack as much in this if I'm using it as a belt bag because I don't want it to be so heavy and look so bulky as a belt bag. But now I wanna show you how these wear on the body. So here's how the Carousel XL fits on the body. I am 5'5 five five for reference. And as you can see, it fits really nicely along the hip and it is really packed full. So you can see like just how bulky it is. And then here is a, a side view of what it looks like. And so this foot fits really nicely. And here is the adjustment. So you have this much more adjustment where you can make it even longer. And then I will show it to you as a shoulder bag, as small as it can be. So this will be as short as it can get and this is really nice and easy to slide that adjustment and so here it is as a shoulder bag now this is not one that i will wear on my shoulders because it does slip off fairly easily so it's not really a great shoulder bag because i'm always afraid that this one is going to slide off because it has the thinner straps i have noticed that it has that thinner strap that it does tend to want to fall off more but if you have that thicker strap then it does want to stay on the shoulder a little bit better. So here is the side view of as short as it'll get. And as you can see, it's right up above the hip. So it's a really nice length. It goes right there under your elbow. So it's a really nice length if you do want to wear it as a shoulder bag. I just don't just because of the fact that it slides off your shoulder very easily. So this is the Carousel XL and that is how it looks like on the body. So here's the carousel as a crossbody, and I think it fits really nicely against the hip. Right here is the adjustment, so you have this much more where you can adjust it that much longer if you like to have them longer or if you're taller. And then I will show it to you if you wanted to wear it as a shoulder bag, as short as it will get, then this is how it would look. So it is looks like it's about the same as the carousel XL is, and so here it is. I just have you and there's no doubt that this will fall off of your shoulders. So I would not be carrying this as a shoulder bag, but then I also wanna show you how you can wear it as a belt bag. This is my favorite way to use the carousel. 
on the carousel XL as a crossbody, but as far as the carousel, I like to wear it as a belt bag, much better. So I'm going to try to adjust this. I usually don't get the adjustment right. I usually have to adjust it a couple of times for the belt bag. So let's see. Ooh, I got it right this time. That's very unusual. I usually have to adjust it a few, three or four times before I get it right. Well, it's a little bit low. Let's just make it a little bit. Let's just make it a little bit shorter. So now I have it adjusted as a belt bag. Love this is a belt bag. This is the way I often use the carousel. I don't think it is too big as a belt bag, but anything bigger I would think would be too big. But I do like this size. So here it is as a side view as well. And this is how it looks as a belt bag. So now you've seen how they wear on the body and each way that both of these bags can be carried. And so I hope this has been helpful to you so you can see the size difference of the carousel to the carousel XL if you're trying to decide between the two. The carousel XL does have a lot of capacity and it does have that one main compartment and you can put a full size wallet in the XL. You cannot put a full size wallet in the carousel if you have anything in those cargo pockets or that clear view pocket in the front. And if you put anything in the cell phone area that kind of comes into the middle area. So it does take up a little bit of the room that you have in the middle area as well. But I think that the carousel does hold quite a bit of things to be a belt bag. And I think if it was any bigger that it wouldn't look really well as a belt bag. But these are the comparisons between the carousel and the Shibori Blue to the Carousel XL in the Shimmer Wine. And I hope that this video has been very helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. I would also love to see you in my next video. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.